Here's our presentation on digital analog converters, or, or also known as DACs. What we have here is a binary weighted summing node where our resistors all double in value, and then we have a, a node where we can measure it. Here we put in binary related values. This first switch would be the 1, the 2, the 4, and the 8. So we could put in binary numbers represented by these switches. So if I want, let's say, 9, I'm going to close this switch and this quick switch, and it'll be 9. Okay, so what happens when we go through this as a binary pattern counting from 0 to 15, we get a stair step based on the dividing of these resistors. Here we show a, another DAC, this one a 4-bit binary weighted DAC into an op amp. And here we're showing the stair step of 0 to 7.5 based on the, the division of these resistors. Here's another type of DAC. This is a 4-bit R2R ladder DAC. Um, this one is used in mainly integrated circuits because it's a lot easier to use two different sizes of resistors and when they manufacture the integrated circuit it's just an easier circuit to build and du duplicate. Again it's the same thing it'll be a minus going stair step. Here's another type of DAC that we built and this is in multi-sim and this is going to represent the circuit that's going to be on our troubleshooting final. Okay so we're going to use a 7490 set up in the BCD counting mode and we're going to go through our binary weighted resistors all multiplied by 2. I have adjusted this resistor because this thing has a little bit less voltage than the 5 volts and we have our clock in here. Here's our output waveform uh, from our DAC. Here we have our clock input but here you show a negative going stair step and it should go from 0 to 9, just like our count. And these are an analog voltage, starting at 0, going to minus 9. Here we're looking at our same DAC. Uh, this time what I'm doing is I'm taking the oscilloscope and I'm looking at the BCD pattern. This is going to help us to troubleshoot this device when we do our uh, troubleshooting at final. Here's the BCD output from our DAC. And we're going to, here's our first cue all the way to the bottom. We're going to start where this one goes low, and we're going to end where this goes low. And our count is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it's a 0 to 9 counter, PCD, binary coded decimal.